Hello, my beautiful people of God. How are you all doing today? I know that everyone is doing great. I believe God that everyone is enjoying God's faithfulness. And we must give God all the praise. Hallelujah. My returning subscribers, God Almighty, we bless you. And if you are new here, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please endeavor to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell for more notifications. In this video today, we want to talk about our parents. And I am talking about it because myself, I'm a parent also, and I have parents. And one of the reasons why I decided to amplify this message is because being Christians these days, some people think that uh, what is there, you know, to please God as a Christian is just to go to church, involved in all manner of church activities and uh, pray 24 hours and do evangelism and all that. Whereas there are some fundamental issues that we are leaving behind. We think that it does not matter. We consider it as a, it's my personal issue, it's my family matter and you don't know that god almighty is interested in every aspect of our lives so that's why i am sharing this video today because this video will remind you of those important issues that you have neglected and it is good that you share it also so that every other person out there will get this message because it's going to help us I'm telling you, even this particular aspect of our life, if you say it does not matter, that can make you not to make heaven as a child of God. So, we're going to listen to Bishop Abioye of Winners Chapel address the ministers, the workers here. And he was talking about our parents. As a child of God, how have you been taking care of your parents? How? Because I know that so many of you are so engrossed in the things of God, in things of church, that from January to December, you may not even remember that you have a mother or a father. And you are busy, you know, showering all the cares, all the support and encouragement to your pastor, your papa, your bishop, and your prophets. You are busy hailing your mother in the Lord, calling her all manner of names. Hmm? Our mother in Israel. You are doing all you could to support them, to encourage them. Hmm? But your own biological mother is here in the village and she's suffering. Do you think that all those sacrifices you are making in the church of God that all those donations, all those uh, tithes and offering you are giving, you think that God Almighty will, you know, will give you good and say, well, well done, my faithful servant. Mm -mm. If you neglect your mother and your father, you will not go heaven. I want you to quote me by saying that. You will not, because God Almighty that gave that instruction, he knows what he's doing. Please, without saying too much, I want us to listen to Bishop Abiyo. Giving to your parents, city boys, city girls, graduates, working, earning 200,000 naira, 500,000 naira, 1 million. Remember your parents now. Go and build for them. Go and build. For them. Buy a car for them. If they are going nowhere, let them park the car in front of his house. So I can be proud. Look at the car my son brought for me. wasteful youthful generation remember your parents how they labored they took long to pay your school fees they suspended their christmas dress to make you go to school here you are now you can't remember them you go and eat in sheraton go and eat in nikon luxury and the five thousand change they give to you is a chicken change let the stewards take it meanwhile your mama needs ten thousand naira in the village they are calling me too much they are calling me too much they won't let me rest 
They didn't know how you became a graduate. A year, year graduate. A year, year. You are a year, year graduate. And it won't last. Honor your father and your mother. Why? That it may be well with you. Don't honor them. It shall not be well with you. That you may live long. When I realized this, I just concluded there is no way I will die before any of my aged people. Why? I'm taking care of them. On monthly basis, there are people on the list, not 10, perhaps not 20, from my family background who are on monthly salary. Once you are connected to my parents, you are entitled to it, irrespective of your religion. Honor, 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 honor your father and your mother that it may be well with you. There are several prayers I don't pray. My old people are praying it for me. They don't, I don't pray against witches. They are the ones who pray against them. Anything that want to touch this, my son, kill them, kill, kill them, kill them, kill them. This food is giving me is very sweet. I want to eat more of it. Kill them. Jacob honored his father Isaac, Genesis 27, 1 to 15. And the blessing came upon him. To the extent that Laban could not kill Jacob, he couldn't kill him. He said, the God of your father appeared to me. Couldn't kill him. Generational blessings are contacted by honoring your parents. Honor them. Honor them. Start from now. I started with 100 naira, 200 naira in pieces. Give to them. Give to them. As a matter of fact, to the glory of God, I started giving to my parents when I was 12 years old. When I was 12 years old, God showed me early on how to honor them. And it's increasing every day. From one figure to two figures to three figures to four figures to five figures i won't tell you the figure right now very soon you will build houses for your parents when my old man died he died as a millionaire much of which by the grace of god i contributed to in his account he left two cars behind apart from all the ones that have been bought for him before I can't watch my parents who identified me when I was young and not identify with them when they are old. Receive grace for it. My people, do you hear that? Good. You see, why I bring this matter today is because this is what we see day in, day out. Some group of persons, when you ask them, when did you see your mother last? They will tell you how many years ago last month were you able to send anything to your mother or your father your parents they will tell you I, I want to pay house rent I want to do this my bills this my bills that they forget their mother they forget their father I'm telling you this is not a cause that is the scripture if you are a child of God you don't take care of your aged parents eh? trust me you will not go to heaven a child of God in view of heaven and you don't take care of your age parents trust me you're, you know they go anywhere I want you to quote me that I say so that you will not go to heaven if you abandon your mother and your father in their old age if you like build the cathedral eh, of, for Archbishop of Canterbury it will not save you if you like gather all the widows and feed them. That will not help you. Because God is a God of principle. He has laid down rules. Everything must be precept upon precept. And nothing must be lagging behind. All of them you must get it right. If you want to live a fulfilled life. And also make a heaven. The issue of your parents must be paramount. They must not suffer. Even from so You see this uh, bishop what he said. Even from 100 naira, I know so many of you that can afford 500,000 every month to their mother, to their father. 
Some of you, your, your mother is a widow. Some of you, your father is a widow. But you care less about them. That is not good as a child of God. By this video, I want you to change your attitude. And if you have anybody that does that, please send this video to them. To remind them of the fact that it doesn't matter the position they occupy in the church of God, they will not go to heaven if they abandon their parents. And that is where I want to leave it. And I will see you in my next one. Please, endeavor to share this video. If you share it, you are joining us. Bishop Abiyoye preached it, and I reposted it, and you yourself, you are sharing it. We are doing the same work. And God Almighty will not allow our reward to elude us. Thank you so much. Give it a like. And if you have not subscribed, as I've said, please subscribe. Turn on the bell for more notifications. And I will see you in my next one. Please remain blessed. Bye-bye.